two men bring an offering to the Lord, one of the fruit of the ground, the other the firstborn of his flock. God accepts one and rejects the other. Why? Now Abel was a keeper of sheep, but Cain was a tiller of the ground. And in the process of time, it came to pass that Cain brought an offering of the fruit of the ground to the Lord. Abel also brought the firstborn of his flock and of their fat. The word tells us clearly that the offering Abel brought was the firstborn of his flock. But it doesn't say that Cain brought the first fruits of his crops. It simply says, in the process of time, Cain brought an offering. Cain harvested his crops and over time gathered enough to bring an offering. It was an offering on Cain's terms. God accepted Abel's offering because it was the first of his increase. Cain's offering was rejected because it wasn't the first of his. Giving the first to God requires faith. When a firstborn lamb is born in a flock, it's not possible to know how many more lambs that you might produce. But Abel gave his firstborn lamb in faith, whereas Cain made sure he had enough for himself before giving to God. Many of us treat God the same way as Cain, making sure we have enough money before we see if there's anything left for God. Even if we give from what's left over, God can't accept the offering because it's not the first fruit. Other stories emphasize this truth. In the account of the fall of Jericho, the Lord gave strict instructions that the Israelites were not to keep any of the spoils from Jericho. All of it belonged to him, the Lord declared. Jericho belonged to the Lord because it was the first city conquered in the Promised Land. It was the first fruits. God withheld his blessing from Israel when one man took some of the spoils for himself. The first belongs to God. There was much more at stake than money when Abraham offered his firstborn son Isaac. When God asked for his son, Abraham didn't wait to have ten sons before giving Isaac. He gave the first when he only had one to give. Abraham had only the promise of having more sons. It took faith for Abraham to offer Isaac, faith that God respected and blessed. And God did the same for us. He gave his first in the form of his son, his first and only begotten son, who was given to us while we were still sinners. God gave Jesus in faith that we might one day give our lives to him. The gift of his son came before the blessing of our repentance and salvation. We give our first fruits in much the same way. Before we see the blessing of God, we give it in faith. Giving the first fruits of your income says to God, I recognize you first. I am putting you first in my life, and I trust you to take care of the rest.